For bodybuilders and fitness aficionados, having a large, powerful upper body has always been the standard. These muscle groups lay the foundation for your body, from a broad chest to a pair of round shoulders. Yes, building up your abs is a popular exercise, but how frequently do you leave your shirt off? Being practical is important when growing your physique, and strength originates from the arms. In this video, we will talk about how to get bigger arms fast. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. Expert Workout Tips Make the most of your time in the weights room with these top tips. Number 1. Don't let your wrists move. When things start to get challenging, I've noticed that a lot of inexperienced trainees tend to break at the wrists. Stop this from happening. Use the edge of your palm to press the cable attachment away from your body for extension movements. Keep them fixed in position and don't allow them to move when curling. You release tension from the desired muscle group as the wrist fractures. Number 2. Flex and stretch. In order to promote growth, you should stretch your working muscles between sets rather than sitting down to check Instagram. According to Nick Mitchell, the owner of Ultimate Performance, as soon as your set is finished, set down the weights and start flexing the muscle you've just been training to enhance blood flow into the muscle. And strengthen your mind to muscle connection, which are critical for optimal growth. After completing a set of biceps curls, you should compress the muscle for a brief period of time before relaxing it by straightening your arm and flexing your triceps. After your rest period, repeat this, then move on. Number 3. Contract the antagonist. The muscle that is opposing the movement you are making is known as the antagonist. When performing triceps extension exercises, you are reaching full range of motion if you flex your triceps at the bottom of the curl and vice versa. Additionally, it prevents you from cutting the action short and guarantees a halt at the conclusion of the eccentric phase. So now, let's dive into the basics of building bigger arms. First off, it will never happen overnight. It takes a lot of effort and commitment to get those desired, chiseled arms. But if you're persistent and patient, we can help you develop bigger forearms, stronger forearms, and stronger triceps. Biceps. The short head bicep brachii and the long head bicep brachii are the two muscles that make up the bicep muscle. Both of these heads extend to the forearm from the scapula, also known as the shoulder blade. Triceps. The large muscle on the back of your upper arm, next to the bicep, is called the tricep. Think of the fat under your arms that moves as you shake them. Three muscle heads make up the triceps. The medial head, lateral head, and long head. To extend the arm from the elbow joint, each of these heads functions independently of the others. Forearms. The forearm is the lone muscle that joins the hand to the upper arm muscles. This muscle can be divided into the front and back, or anterior and posterior, halves. Many of the muscles in the forearm are largely in charge of controlling the hands and fingers. Your forearm's strength is directly correlated with the strength of your grasp. Building bigger arms requires an understanding of the arm's anatomy and the muscles that support it. We can now train our muscles effectively and figure out how to acquire bigger arms by breaking down how each muscle works with the others. Number 7. Use blood flow restriction training. Training with blood flow restrictions is one method that is quite effective for the arms. You get an incredible pump when you force blood to pool in a muscle by limiting blood supply to that muscle. Using blood flow restriction training prevents blood from escaping veins, however, arteries still provide blood to the muscle. By occluding a muscle, you are tricking your body into using big fast twitch muscle fibers, which will cause tremendous growth. It may sound like some kind of torture. You will be using half of your typical weight during this form of training, which is an additional benefit. While challenging your body and enlarging your arms, this form of exercise will allow your joints to recuperate. Try a triceps and biceps superset. Tighten the knee wraps after placing them high on the arms. The wraps should be snug enough to be uncomfortable but not excruciating. For triceps, you'll use a rope pushdown, and for biceps, you'll do standing dumbbell curls. Number 6. Increase your volume. It has been demonstrated that volume and muscle growth are directly related. This indicates that you need to increase your volume if you're performing 8 sets of arms once a week and seeing no benefits. For arms, I advise adding extra sets on a different day of the week. 3 times a week of arm exercise has proven to be the most effective for growth. Making careful to gradually increase your volume over time is crucial. You run the danger of damage if you suddenly switch to 3 days per week without gradually increasing your volume. Number 5. Utilize all angles. 
Your bicep's main job is to rotate your wrist and raise your forearm toward your shoulders. The triceps' main job is to allow the elbow to fully stretch. Although these movements are straightforward, you must make sure to exercise your arms from all directions. You should perform curls on an inclination for your biceps and strive for a complete stretch. The bicep will be hit from a higher angle if you perform a chin-up or use high cable pulleys. The triceps work similarly. Executing an overhead tricep extension will activate several muscle heads. Number 4. Superset. You must increase the total volume of arm training in order to promote arm growth. By supersetting bicep and tricep exercises, you may achieve this without having to spend 3 hours at the gym. This will flood your arms with blood and provide them with a ton of nutrients. We fully extend the bicep when we execute tricep exercises. Stretching out the triceps during a curling motion produces an antagonistic response that increases the effectiveness of training. Number 3. Use the shock method. Your body doesn't like change, it doesn't want 20-inch arms, and it will battle you since it costs a lot of metabolic energy to move around with that much muscle. Every few workouts, it's a good idea to mix in more difficult exercises to stimulate arm growth. The purpose of shocking techniques is to severely overload the muscles. Running the rack, supersets, drop sets, and many other exercises may be just what you need to make your arms grow. Number 2. 1 inch in 1 day growth. Perform the gaining 1 inch in 1 day exercise once a month. Despite receiving a lot of criticism, this program has a lot to recommend it. This program was created to simply overload your arms, increasing arm volume and growth. Number 1. Eat like a machine. You'll need to consume a lot of food if you want to grow enormous. Your eating habits account for 80% of the effects you'll notice in the mirror. Make sure you consume a ton of high-quality protein sources each day in addition to nutrient-dense foods. Keep track of your caloric intake, and if you aren't gaining at least half a pound every week, increase it by 200 to 300 calories per day. You will need to put on 10 pounds of additional body weight in order to increase your arms by one solid inch. If you eat like a schoolgirl, you won't gain that much weight. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.